if Frankie Montas is not going to start the season on time, is it, it sounds like it's Herman, right, is the guy. He said Herman so quickly that I would believe it would be Herman, and that is the sensible choice. You're talking about someone who has an 18 win season on his resume. But when you investigate what's going on with Montas, Bob, if the Yankees could unequivocally say he's going to eradicate all of this inflammation and he'll be ready to go on May 1st, I think you could live with it and you get five solid months out of him in the regular season. But this is someone who was acquired to be a top end of the rotation pitcher, Michael. It didn't happen. And now it's going to be delayed in potentially happening. Uh, listen, they, they have certainly enough pitching to fill the void. Clark Schmidt and and Domingo Herman. This this is a blow. There's no other way to like to shape it. I mean, this guy is supposed to be your number two or three starter. You gave up a lot of minor league capital to get him from the Oakland Athletics, and you got him when he had shoulder problems. Then, then he had shoulder problems toward the end of the year, and then after a whole layoff of an offseason. It's still bothering him. That's a concern to me because when I put together this rotation in my head, I depended on Frankie Montas giving me 30 starts. Now you're almost looking at, is he going to give you 18 starts? Yeah. Uh, we were talking about this in my office. The danger here, it's a recurring injury. It's the same thing. It's the right shoulder. It's not, oh, he has a calf. He'll work on that. He'll get treatment. He'll be fine. When you see that happen time and again with a pitcher, and now it's happened again in the offseason, that's a concern. Yeah, it's, it's worrisome because this guy, when healthy, is really filthy. I mean, his stuff is that good. And then when you hear that, you just shake your head and go, wow. Because, you know, everybody's first choice last year was Castillo. But obviously the ask was just too much. You don't want to give up Volpe. You don't want to give up Peraza. Totally understand it. So the second choice goes to Montas. And... It, it didn't work out. It hasn't worked out. And you hope if he does give you those 18 to 20 starts that he's really dominant because that's what you expect of him. You mentioned the stuff being filthy and there were times with Oakland where the Yankees saw that version of Montas and he's got that great splitter and batters hit under 200 against the splitter last season. But Bob, the word you brought up is the word we did discuss in your office recurring. Now every pitcher is going to have some sort of nagging issue. David Cohn always talks about that. Once the season starts, you never feel 100%. But the fact that this is something that has lingered for a pitcher that the Yankees had high hopes for it's just a level of frustration will they be able to overcome it could they have a great April without Montas of course they could but the point is they acquired him to be a big part of what they're trying to do